think your Google is better than a doctor or something? Hell yeah, because you just disputed when 96% of all biologists agree that at the moment of conception, a unique, whole, living human being comes into existence. They don't believe you want to call it a fertilized egg, it's, it's also alive. called be a Google, an embryo or zygote. Those are stages in every person's life. You didn't come from an embryo or fertilized egg. You once were one. What is a fertilized egg? You can Google it. Go ahead. I can tell you it's not a human being. What is it? Is it a koala bear? I believe it's a zygote. <laughs> what is a zygote? A zygote of what species? Because there's lots of different zygotes. There's, there's koala bear zygotes. Mm -hmm. There's elephant zygotes. Mm -hmm. What's a zygote? You have Google, you tell me. And what is your background in medicine and science? Fertilized egg is an embryo. An embryo is an early stage of development of a multicellular organism. In general, in organisms that reproduce sexually, embryonic development is part of the life cycle that begins after fertilization and continues to the formation of body structures. A fertilized egg is an embryo or a zygote, no matter how you want to call it, that's a member of our human being. You're using a dehumanizing term to dehumanize human beings in the earliest stages mm. by saying, oh, it's just a fertilized egg. A fertilized egg, when sperm meets egg, bam, a unique human life comes into existence with a brand new genetic code that's never existed before and will never exist again. And that and new genetic code, life. what is it? Is it dead? It's not alive. It's not a life. Wait, how can it grow into a baby if it's not alive? Thank you. It's not a life. It's not like, what is it? So it's, it's living, it's but thing. it's not a life. It's a thing. It is a clump of cells. I'm a clump of cells. Yeah, and you have life. I'm a, I'm a thing. Yes, and you have a brain, and you have brain waves. So, and you have the ability to have consciousness. You can feel pain. An embryo has the ability to feel consciousness. Not until the third point. trimester. So now, okay, so what you're saying is your value as a person is based on your functional abilities. Your Which bodily is autonomy you isn't until you have consciousness. Who says who? Says the law. Your bodily autonomy isn't until you have consciousness? Yes, that is how bodily autonomy works. That is why you are able to harvest organs from people who are brain dead. And That's not how the law works because in PCB Planned Parenthood, the Supreme Court allows abortions to be restricted by states at about 24 weeks. but we. But we know a child, a lot of people would argue that a child of 24 weeks isn't fully cognizant of who he or she is. Mm -hmm. So is KCB Planned Parenthood wrong? People have varying opinions about it. I don't think life begins at a heartbeat. And a heartbeat bill is not even a heartbeat yet. It's fetal cardiac pole activity is how you call it? Yeah, because it's, it's not a heartbeat. Yeah, it's just part of the heart that's developed. Yeah, so it's not heart a heartbeat. Fully developed the heart isn't things. beating yet. It's just it's not pumping blood, it's so it's just not heartbeat yet. But it's not heartbeat. It's just sending electrical impulses, which is not a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. And I asked earlier what your medical and you, scientific background was. I can Google. I what was your medical and scientific background? I don't background? have a medical and scientific background because so I'm a smart person and I can Google. So you think your Google is better than a doctor? or something? Hell yeah, because you just disputed when 96% of all biologists agree that at the moment of conception, a unique, whole, living human being comes into existence. They don't believe you want to call it a fertilized egg, it's, it's also alive. called, be a Google, an embryo or zygote. Those are stages in every person's life. You didn't come from an embryo or fertilized egg, you once were one. And you value today as a human being that makes you irreplaceable was the very same, even when you were a fertilized Thank egg you. or zygote in your mother's fallopian tube. It's the same, because it's a slippery slope. If at any moment you start saying, well, I don't believe you have human rights until you have consciousness. I don't believe you have human rights until you fully have the ability to reproduce. You don't have human rights until you're fully grown. That's a slippery slope, because every single one of us would come up with a different, different definition of when human rights begin. And throughout our history, as I pointed out at the beginning of my presentation, Throughout history, when you allow people to decide what characteristics deem a human being worthy of life and that life worthy protection, we already decided that with the Terry Schiavo case in the Supreme Court, which stated that if you don't have brain waves, then you do not have bodily autonomy legally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And a lot of people I know would deeply disagree with what the Supreme Court said, just like how I disagree with what the Supreme Court said in Dred Scott and said that human beings who are black weren't full persons. Well, or the, 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 the Supreme itself. Court said that in Plessy v. Ferguson that, yeah, you can have separate but equal sounds good to us. Or what the Supreme Court said in Roe v. Wade, the unique whole living human being doesn't have the right to be protected. I disagree with a lot of Supreme Court rulings. And by the way, what's the Supreme Court's background science? Because I'm pretty damn sure <laughs> that Roe versus Wade, the seven men that ruled the Roe versus Wade, literally started out the decision saying, we're not scientists or philosophers here. I wish scientists were the ones that were making these decisions. And me too, because 96% of them agree that human life begins at the moment of conception. The question is, is that human life battle? You're like arguing yourself in a way it doesn't sound great for you. Excuse me? You don't, you just deny like science to everyone here. It is a life. It is a member of our species. That is what that is undisputed. That it is a life. It what is you're arguing is that that life doesn't have value. Let me help you. You're arguing that that life doesn't have value. That a woman's life has more value than your I keep on saying this every time I'm trying to. We all came through this process. That I keep on saying it every time. See anyone who is for poor choice poor choice poor choices they all know the truth but they choose to deny it keep on saying it every time we all came through that process we were once zygote we were once embryo we were once fetus we were once baby we we all passed through that process to become who we are it's a it's a process it's a growing process it's just like a baby a newborn baby right now he's he have to crawl he has to walk before he or she run. It's a process. I'm, I keep on saying it. We all pass through that process to become who we are. It's growth. So once the sperm and the egg join together, <laughs> you have formed the life. It's as simple as that, that the pro choices don't accept. It's, it's clearly plain right there. But this thing they want to accept the fact. They just want to have rights to take away it. But you're killing a baby. That is the funny thing. You are killing a baby. But the thing they want to accept is a baby. So this, I, I love Hawkins a lot. Because she defends what she knows is the right. She know this group of people don't want to accept the fact. It is not religious belief. It is biology itself. She googled it right there in front of the lady when the the first marks. She googled it right there. It's a life, but you choose to get rid of it because you feel like it's a cell. Some people will call it tumor. Some people call it trash. It's a baby growing inside the mother uterus. It's very funny how some people keep on ignoring this fact. It's it's very funny. She was also bringing out the. The Supreme Court, people who are making the laws in the country. But all those things, we know the facts, we all know the truth. Either you choose to accept it or not, we know what is true, we know what is lie. I'm not a woman, I don't have a uterus, but I know the truth. You get it. That is how the thing is. We all know the truth, but we choose to deny it because we want to live our life, even if we make bad decisions, it's our life, we have to live it. But the decision you make in your life should not affect another person. That is the baby right there that some women don't want to accept. If you make any decision in your life that like it resulted to a baby, you can't kill that baby inside you because you feel like you are not with the man again or you don't want to have anything to do with the man that gave you that, that made you pregnant and stuff like that. You don't want to just get rid of it. You have rights over your body, but you don't have rights over that baby growing inside your body. There are two things. Keep on saying this every time. We all pass through the stage before we took our first breath out into the world. Oh. And the funny thing is, we're growing inside. We're alive, but we're not yet out of the womb to see how the world is. <laughs> we're alive inside the mother. There are dead babies inside the mother when they bring them out. There are living babies inside the mother, inside the uterus. So sometimes baby die inside the uterus. Then they do some surgery and bring out the baby. 
also probably grow inside the uterus and their life and they deliver them or they pass you cesarean session, they come out alive. That is, that, that, we all know how this process works, but people keep on denying the facts. <laughs> Comment down below what you think about this video. Subscribe to our channel, guys. Give us a thumbs up. A lot of people who do abortion, a lot of people have regretted it, especially those that, that have erupted pregnancy. It's a very dangerous art. Very, very dangerous. People are saying this is a normal thing. It's not normal. It's very dangerous. Subscribe to China. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. Poof. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, you in my bed. I got scales all over.